There are people who will remain neutral in this situation. As long as they respect my feelings, I can maintain a friendship with them too. I don't want anyone to take sides or talk negatively about my ex-husband just because they're friends with me. I won't shut people out just because they choose to keep him in their lives. I believe that true friends are those who are kind and trustworthy and compassionate. So it's really not just about having friends or winning a popularity contest. It's important to appreciate the relationship that continues to grow, learn from the ones that have ended, and be open to opportunities to build new friendships. How do we avoid taking sides when a friend is getting a divorce? It is distressing, it is uncomfortable to witness the end of a friendship, particularly when you're close to both parties. It can be really hard to remain neutral in so many of these situations, and often it leads to losing the friendship. This is becoming common. So what are some ways to stay neutral? Couples face difficulties before deciding to separate, typically. As a friend, you may have heard or seen tensions or conflicts between that couple over time. And it's really important to remember that each person's point of view on top Topics such as finances or intimacy will only be one-sided, so really try to keep an open mind. Keep in mind also that no matter how much information you have, you likely only know part of the story. We can never really know what it's like in somebody else's life or what their experiences are. So to avoid taking these sides, replace statements that you may have like, I can't believe this happened. Instead, try saying, what you're going through must be really hard. These statements are compassionate, they're powerful, and even though they're neutral, you may then ask, how are you feeling? What do you need? 